<clears throat> all right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rechakadash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. And salutation and much love to Yaakim out there pushing out his word and truth and sincerity. And I just want to do a quick video, Lord, so it's edifying, you know, just so um, speaking on uh, the covenants, all right, the, the new and the old covenant was always for and always will be for the nation of Israel. All right, the Lord never changed his mind about of, on that. All right, he 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 set it up so that they would have to, uh, you know, repent and come back to him. So you know, it, it was it's a whole story of why you know the Lord, you know, did what he did with the nation of Israel. He never casted them away though. All right, but nonetheless, let's get into um, <clears throat> the scriptures. We're gonna start in Jeremiah thirty-one and thirty-one. All right. Because, you know, the New Testament, the New Covenant was spoken about, you know, in the Old Testament. Okay. So let's go to Jeremiah 31 and 31. It says, Behold, the days come, saith Yahweh, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. All right. Because what? He, at this point, he had already made the, the first covenant. All right. And they weren't able to keep it. Because what? They, they, they Our people are stiff-necked. All right. They're rebellious. All right. They broke the, the law, statutes, commandments of the Heavenly Father. So they weren't able to keep the, the, the first covenant. So what the Lord said, he, was, he promised, all right? He promised them that he was going to make a new covenant with them. All right? With only Israel. It says, with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, meaning the northern and the southern kingdom, coming back together as one nation. All right? And under that new covenant, which we're going to get into, which is only for Israel. Okay? There, there's no spiritual Israel. Okay? You're Israel by blood, okay? By according to the flesh, all right? Your lineage has to go back to the the the, the, the progenitors, Abraham, Isaac, and, and Jacob, okay? You can't be from the nation of Elam and then re, and be part of the covenant, the new covenant, or any covenant for that matter with, with the Lord, okay? It says, verse 32, Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, which my covenant they break, although I was in husband unto them, saith Yahweh. All right, so there you go, man. That that was the that first covenant that they broke, and who was it for? The ones that he led out of Egypt. All right, he didn't make a covenant with the Egyptians, did he? Okay, he didn't make a, a, a covenant with the the um uh you know the the Ammonites or the Moabites or the Edomites. He made a covenant with the Israelites. All right, when he took them out of the land of Egypt. Verse 33, and which it was, it was promised unto Abraham, okay, and to his seed, all right, which, which uh, is, is talking about the lineage that uh, uh, that Jacob came out of, man, Isaac, all right, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and then the, the 12 tribes of Israel. Verse 33, but this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, saith Yahweh, I will put my law in their inward parts. And write it in their hearts and will be their power and they shall be my people. So there we go. Point, point blank, period. All right. There's no it. And it, it, it said with the house of Israel. I mean, how, it, it doesn't get any simpler than that. And some people say, oh, that's the Old Testament. Well, the Lord said uh, the Lord says the same thing in Hebrews 8. All right. Which we'll get. All right. This is uh, uh, Hebrews 8 and, and uh, 36. But it now hath obtained a more excellent ministry. By how much more also he is the mediator of a better covenant, which is established upon better promises. For if that first covenant had been faultless, then should no place have been sought for the second. See, so the Lord set it up. He made, he didn't put it in their hearts right away for the, in the first covenant because he had a story to, 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 to play out. Okay. He had prophecies to be fulfilled. Okay. It says for finding fault with them, so the, the fault was with them. Who? The Israelites. Because what? They break the laws. They broke the law, statutes, and commandments. They didn't, they didn't keep it like we read in Jeremiah 31, even though the Lord was a husband unto us. All right? That's why we get reconciled unto the Lord. That, that new covenant is coming. All right? That reconciliation is happening right before your very eyes. Man, the Lord, that's why the Lord died. All right? That's why the Lord died for the nation of Israel. So that they, they, they can be reconciled with the Lord again, and then ultimately receive this new covenant, which is going to be when the law, statutes, and commandments are in us, and we're going to be perfect. Okay, for for, for Hebrews eight and eight, for finding fault with 
with them, he saith, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt, because they continue not in my covenant, and I regarded them not, saith the Lord. See, so again, so it's literally saying the same thing. It says, For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, saith the Lord, I will put my laws into their mind and write them in their hearts. And I will be to them a, a God or a power, and they shall be to me a people. So the law, statutes, commandments, that's the new covenant being in your, in your inward parts, man. All right, so clearly the law is not going to be done away with, and, and it never was done away with. All right, grace is is, is the, the the grace. All right, is is to cover the elect really. Okay, that's why Yahweh Shai dies. So when we go off unwillingly, all right, but it doesn't cover. Grace doesn't cover you if you willingly sin. Okay. Verse eleven, and they shall not teach every man his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for for all shall know me from the least to the greatest. For, for all who. It tells you who, who the Israelites, verse 10. All right, for I will be merciful to the, their unrighteousness and their sins and their iniquities will I remember no more. All right, who's the, what is sin? Sin is the transgression of the law. All right. And who, who was given the law? The Israelites. That's why it's, it said that they broke the law. They couldn't, they didn't keep it. All right. So, so who are the covenants for? Who is the promises for? The Israelites. It doesn't change. Let's go to um let's go to you can't get around Romans 9. Romans 9 and, and uh start at uh verse 3, for I wish. Well, I just go uh, yeah, three. For I wish so like for I could wish that myself were cursed from from, from Hamashiach from my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. And kinsmen, your family, all right, your relatives. Your brethren, all right, who are Israelites. So who is Paul's kinsman? All right, Israelites. To whom pertaineth the adoption? All right, the what? The, 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 that's the, that's the, uh, to bring it back in, man. You know, in the glory, the kingdom of heaven, all right, and the covenants, okay? The covenants, the what? The new, we just read about it. The new covenant, the old covenant, all right? That pertains to who? The Israelites. Pertaineth and the giving of the law and the service of the Most High and the promises. Whose are the fathers and of whom as concerning the flesh, Hamashiach came, who is over all the Most High, the Most High blessed forever. Amen. All right. So what? Who did, who did Hamashiach come for? It, it just told you. <laughs> the Israelites. Okay. It's not rocket science. Let's just see who the who the Lord um, died for, man, so that they could receive that mercy, man, and ultimately that that uh, 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 the mercy of their unrighteousness, okay, and receive that new covenant. This is Luke one and sixty eight. Blessed be the Lord, all right, most hot, the power of Israel, for He hath visited and redeemed His people. Who's the Lord's people? The Israelites, and hath raised up. And horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies. Not a hey, how how is the Lord gonna save everyone? All right, if then who are, who are the enemies? Who you know that it'll make sense. And from the hand of all that hate us, to perform the mercy promised to our fathers, and to remember his holy covenant. Who was the covenant for, man? We read, we just we just went through this. The oath which he swore to our father Abraham that he would grant unto us that we being delivered out of the hand of our enemies might serve him without fear in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. All right. So who who's who's that mercy promised to, man? This getting saved out of the hands of the enemies. And then ultimately receiving the law, statutes, commandments in their inward parts, man. All right. Let's go to um, Acts 30 or Acts 13 and verse 22. And and when, cause remember, it talked about King David, a horn of salvation come out of the, the, the line of King David. All right. Or the house of David. 
It says, and when he had removed him, he raised up un unto them David to be their king, to whom also he gave testimony and said, I have found David, the son of Jesse, a man after mine own heart, which shall fulfill all my will of this man's seed had the most high, according to his promise, raised unto Israel a savior, Yehowashai. So who, who did the Lord send Yehowashai to? Unto Israel. To be what? A savior. It, it doesn't get much clearer than that. The Lord is a savior for who? Israel. All right. So he, the Lord didn't die for everyone. So the, everyone's over, under the new covenant. Now, no. The new covenant, the, the new covenant is when the laws are written in us. Or in our in our minds. Right now, the laws ain't in, in your mind. You know, we rehearse the righteous act. Acts. But we're still in the flesh, man. We still have those uh, those stony hearts, man. All right? But the Lord's going to give us those fleshly hearts, man. He's going to write the, the laws in our in our heart instead of on tablet, man. Instead of those stones. All right? This is... Uh, let me go to Romans 11 and uh, 25. Romans 11 and 20, 25. I would not, brethren, that you should be ignorant of this mystery... That she should be wise in your own conceits, that blindness in part is happened to Israel until the fullness of the Gentiles be come in. All right. And those, those Gentiles, man, the ones that are, that are going to come in or the ones that the, the that, that weren't going by the law, statutes and, and commandments, man. They were living outside of Israel. Some of them knew they were Israelites. Some of them didn't know. They were Hellenized. All right. And so all Israel shall be saved. As it is written, there shall come out of Zion the deliverer and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. For this is my covenant unto them, unto who? Unto Jacob, unto Zion, unto Israel, when I shall take away their sins. So, I mean, you can't get around it, man. And ultimately, all Israel is going to be saved because of what? Because of what Yahweh did. And ultimately, it's because the Lord promised that unto all Israel. We understand two-thirds of our people are going to die on this side, but what? Ultimately, the, the promises, the covenants, the, the glory, the kingdom of heaven, I right, was promised unto the Israelites. So ultimately, all Israel shall be saved. Because what? That 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 deliver does that deliverer that came for us, man. Yahweh We just read it in uh in Acts 13. That that savior was was Yahweh Unto for, for who though? He sent him on for unto uh to Israel, man. Alright? So the Lord is is, for, is with us, not not uh, uh not with everybody, man. He's with us, the Israelites. All right. So with that, Lord's will, and this edifying, you no, know, keep pushing, brothers. We're almost out of here, and this is only for us, man. Then Christianity's played out, and it's garbage, man. Shalom.